I'm going to show you how you can add the donut series infographics to your presentation. So first you want to make sure that you have the uh, engage tab selected and then uh, click on the infographics button. And if you scroll down, you'll see the donut series infographics over here. So select this and then click on the insert button. Uh, so this will drop the donut series right on the slide. Um, so the donut series is a great chart um, to show the different uh, pieces and how they make up the whole. Um, so what you can do is uh, you can edit this data by clicking the edit data button and this will open up an Excel spreadsheet. Um, so what you can do here is if you want for example you can change uh, the label so I can make this just product instead of product revenue. Uh, you can change the values as well and uh, if you have other items that you need to add you can just add them and then uh, include uh, the value as well. So um, you can add as many uh, labels and values as you need. Um, and the nice thing about this is that you don't have to do the math, like you don't have to figure out, these uh, don't have to add up to 100. You can see here the sum is 143. Uh, Engage will automatically apply the right uh, percentages for you. So once that's done, let's go ahead and close this uh, Excel embedded uh, spreadsheet. And then you'll see that Engage will take those new um, uh, items uh, and values that you've added here and then we'll uh, update the infographic. So the other thing that you can do is you can change the color. So we added this new um, uh, label here called item. So let's go ahead and uh, make this uh, orange. And the other thing that you can do is you can uncheck this show legend. So if you don't need the legend you can uncheck this box. Um, you can uh, click it here. The other thing that you can do is you can uh, configure it. So if you click the configure button, there are a couple different options here. The first is the bullets. So these bullets basically uh, mirror the colors from the values. So what you can do is you can uncheck those so that you don't have those bullets. Um, the other thing that you can do is you can um, update the uh, offset. So that simply uh, creates more offset, more room between the bullet and um, the uh, labels. Uh, the other thing that you can do is you can uh, control the height. So this will uh, increase the size of those bullets. Um, the other thing that you can do is you can add a border around the legend um, and then you can change the color of that border if you wish. Um, you can add more padding as well. So this is just the padding between the legend and then the border around the legend. You can add um, some more thickness around um, that border as well. Uh, so I'm just going to go back and uh, turn that uh, border off now. Um, the other thing that you can do is uh, in terms of the labels, uh, you can change the color of the fonts. So if you wanted, for example, to make all of those uh, fonts black and uh, increase the size, you could do that. So what you'll want to do here is as a default, these um, labels mirror the colors um, in the uh, donut series but you can override the label colors for whatever reason if you just wanted to make them all black this is how you would uh, do that um, this is another kind of interesting um, option here orientation I'll, I'll stick to vertical for now but um, what I'll do is I'll update the uh, vertical spacing so you can increase the spacing between those labels um, and you can do the same on the horizontal spacing uh, for that what you want to do is back to orientation here just click this um, radio button this way. So sometimes on your slide, um, based on the data that you have, um, to make the legend look good and to make it fit, sometimes it's easier to go horizontal, sometimes it's easier to go vertical, uh, so you have these options. Um, and then finally, um, you can include the percentage values um, by clicking this text box or remove them, and you can also um, include or remove uh, the labels. Um, the other thing that you can do as well is include only the first value. So uh, sometimes, um, kind of like the uh, donut chart, what you want to do is you just want to bring attention to that first uh, value. Uh, so uh, you could do that uh, this way. So let me uncheck this um, and let's go back to vertical. Um, now that we've gone through all these options, um, the last thing I can show you here is the uh, thickness here of the actual donut series. So you can increase the thickness of um, that donut series. Um, and then before I close this, I'll just talk a bit about accessibility. So like on all of our other infographics, you can um, make sure that 
the alt text tied to this infographic is accessible for people with um, screen reading software. So as a default, this is what it'll get re read out, which is this is an engaged donut series infographic. Use a control shift D to access the raw data in Excel. So what this means is that um, this is what will get read out to the person using the uh, screen reading software. And they can always click on control shift D and that will open up the um, Excel uh, spreadsheet uh, with that raw data so they can access uh, the data that way. You can also um, add some more um, uh, alternative text here as well where you might specify uh, this uh, series shows that and then you would you know complete that for for even greater context um, okay so let's go ahead and close this dialog and what you can do here is once you have the legend you can move the legend out as a default the legend is uh, in the donut series but sometimes for your design uh, it might make sense to move this out you might have a, a headline here that you can add a text box. A um, couple other options in terms of design. Uh, if you go to the slide library and you go to reporting, um, you'll see that this slide over here shows you an example of that donut series with some other uh, infographics as well. Um, so that, that gives you a, an idea of how you can use this as well. And that's the uh, donut series infographics. Thank you.